Why should we do medical research? It's a question that I was thinking hard and long before doing this video. How can I talk about doing research? How can I transmit the passion of doing research? How can I stimulate you to do research? I was procrastinating a little bit in YouTube like all of us do. And I stumbled upon this very interesting speech that I'm going to talk about in this video. So keep watching. Welcome to a brand new class on DeanMD, where you can learn everything related about the basic sciences of medical knowledge and apply it to patient care in the future or right now. So this speech was by Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson in a commencement address at the Western New England University. It was quite interesting. I'm not going to repeat exactly what he says, but I'm going to just summarize the most important parts of it. So he says, and I agree, that we have a lot of fussy thinking. What does he mean about fussy thinking? So he puts an example. His sister graduated from college and he says, hey, where do you want to go and have lunch? And she replies, what are my choices? So he analyzes this and reaches a conclusion that was very shocking to me. His sister was used to having choices in front of her. Because all of her life, she was used to answering multiple choice questions. And he was talking about how we're losing original thought, how we're losing our ability to think outside the box, how typical education in a university might be hindering the ability to think, to form a concept, to use what we have learned and have a useful mind that can create new things. He also uses another example. So they're interviewing for a job and one of the last questions is how tall is the spire of the building that we're on? One of the applicants gives the exact answer because he had memorized it previously because he was an architect. He gave the exact answer down to the decimal point. And then the other applicant said, I don't know, but give me a minute. So he ran outside, measured the length of the shadow from the spire, measured the length of his own shadow, did a ratio, came back, and his answer was very close to the real thing. So the question is, which one would you hire? And he says, I would hire the guy that figured it out because he has the ability to use the mental power and all the concepts that he has learned to come up with a solution, to come up with a fresh perspective, to come up with something new. And that is why I think we need to do medical research. That's why medical research exists. And that's why medical research should be promoted on every university. Not as something tedious, not as something that you need to do to graduate, or not as something that you need to do to improve your curriculum and get into a good medical residency, but as a way to develop this kind of thinking, to create something new, to inspire those that are behind you, and to give answers or to give a fresh perspective about a difficult subject, to think in different ways, to look at stuff with fresh eyes, to improve ourselves and to improve our fields. And that's why I think medical research is important. That's why I think you should use all the knowledge that you have gathered, not only to solve multiple choice exams or to have the best grade or to be valedictorian or to feel like you're the most intelligent person in your class. That's irrelevant if you think about it in the long run and in the big picture. What you need, other than good grades, other than studying, is applying the concepts that you have learned, creating something new, leaving your mark on this planet, making the place where you are better than it was before you came along. We need to stop thinking of ourselves as students that are in this massive race to get our degrees, to get a piece of cardboard that says, congratulations, you're an MD, you're an MSc, you're a PhD, but rather, a study and give meaning to that piece of paper. Give meaning to your degree. Use all the knowledge that you have gathered through all the years that you managed to study and put effort into getting your degree to actually create something new, to actually contribute and to actually become better ourselves so we can inspire and teach those that come behind us. We need to be teachers. We need to be empowerers. We need to inspire so our colleagues can also rise with us. There's a lot of space on top, and if everybody is good at what they do, that's how we move humankind forward and become better. Not by silly competition, but by collaboration, empowerment, and inspiration. Hey guys, thanks for watching. And remember, it's always for our patients. If you like this video and the content I make, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and share this video. With your help, I'm sure we can get free medical content to every corner of this world.